At this mosque in Minneapolis, visitors from many faiths are joining the congregation as they break their day fast with iftar, a sundown meal. Mawlid Ali, Imam of Abu Bakr as sadiq Islamic Center, calls it an open house. The open house mainly means an iftar for the non-Muslims. We are in the month of Ramadan. It's a month of guidance. It's a month of generosity. The imam said the event was part of their effort to offer people from the community a chance to learn about Islam. We talk about some of the misconceptions that uh, people here in the, uh, in the in the media, and we try to you know uh, dispel uh, some of those misconceptions and bring to the attention of those people the beauty of Islam. Among the visitors was Rick Jorgerson, a high school principal from Redwood Falls, Minnesota, a town about two and a half hours from Minneapolis. Jorgerson, who brought his son to the event, said he has keen interest in learning about other religions. There were a lot of questions I had in terms of things about specific practices, beliefs, the pillars, uh, how the iftar works, and uh, it's been amazing just to see to, to fill in those blanks of things I didn't know before. And I think it's just, it's neat to see my son with his eyes light up too when he remembers something from school and it makes sense to him. Robin Manthe, Managing Director of Minnesota Kitchen Coalition, says she is grateful for the open doors of the mosque and believes that sharing food is the most effective way to find common ground and build connections among people of different religions. I think the, the story is always that the more we know about each other and the more times we sit down together and eat, food is a powerful thing, the closer we feel. And there are a lot of Muslims in Minneapolis and these are our neighbors. Ramadan ends with Eid al-Fitr, a feast that is one of the major holidays for Muslims around the world. For Mahmoud Mas'ade in Minneapolis, Salem Solomon, VOA News.